Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is a to the power of x plus 9. This is equal to 9 to the power of x plus 8. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, this exponential equation here is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 8 to the power of x multiplying by 8 to the power of 9. This is equal to 9 to the power of x multiplying by 9 to the power of 8. The next step from here, let's divide both signs by, here we have a, that is, we can divide this side by 9 to the power of x and also this side by 9 to the power of x. So that now here we simplify 9 to the power of x. Therefore, we have 8 to the power of x multiplied by 8 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of x. This is equal to 9 to the power of 8. The next step is we can divide now both signs by 8 to the power of 9 and also here by 8 to the power of 9. Let's simplify 8 to the power of 9 here, so that now we have 8 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. This is equal to 9 to the power of 8 divided by 8 to the power of 9. The next step from here, 8 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x this is in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, which can be expressed as a over b raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 8 over 9 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 9 to the power of 8 divided by 8 to the power of 9. Now, the next step from here, to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have log 8 over 9 raised to the power of x. This is equal to log. Now, here we have 9 to the power of 8 divided by 8 to the power of 9. The next step from here, we have that rog 8 over 9 to the power of x. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rog a. So applying this power root property, then here we have, now applying this power root property, then here we have x rog. Here we have 8 over 9. This is equal to rog. 9 to the power of 8 divided by 8 to the power of 9. The next step is that rog 8 over 9. This is in the form of rog a over b, which we can express as rog a subtract rog b. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have x into the parentheses. Here we have rog. 8, subtract rog 9, cross the parentheses, this is equal to, now, here we have rog 9 to the power of 8, then subtract rog 8 to the power of 9. The next step from here, we can divide both signs by rog 8, subtract rog 9, then here we have rog 8 subtract rog 9. Now let's simplify here so that now x here is equal to this is rog 9 to the power of 8 subtract rog 8 to the power of 9 then divided by rog 8 subtract rog 9. Now from here, rog 
9 to the power of 8, this is actually in the form of log a to the power of n, which you can express as n log a. So applying this power rule property, then now we have here x is equal to, now here we have 8 log 9, then subtract 9 log 8, then divided by log 8, subtract log 9. The next step is that we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 and we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Substituting this, then we have x is equal to 8 log 9 which is 3 to the power of 2, then subtract 9 log 8 which is 2 to the power of 3, divided by log 8 which is log 2 to the power of 3, minus log 9, which is 3 to the power of 2. Again, applying the power root property here, then we have x is equal to 8, multiplying by 2, then log 3, then subtract 9, multiplying by 3, then log 2, everything here, divided by log 2 to the power of 3, which is 3, log 2, then subtract log 3 to the power of 2, which is 2 log 3. Now, this implies that here, x is equal to 8 times 2, this is 16 log 3. Then subtract 9 times 3, this is 27 log 2, divided by 3 log 2. Then we have subtract 2 log 3. Now the next step from here, we have that row 3. This is the same thing as 0 0.4771. And we have that row 2. This is the same thing as 0 0.301. Substituting this, then we have x is equal to, now we have 16 multiplied by 0 0.4771, subtract 27 multiplied by log 2, which is 0 0.301, then everything here divided by 3 multiplied by 0 0.301, subtract 2 multiplied by 0 0.4, Seven seven one, and this implies that here we have sixteen times zero point four seven seven one. This is the same thing as seven point six three three six minus eight point one two seven divided by three times zero point three zero one, and this is zero point nine zero three subtract 0 0.9542 and this means that x here is equal to in the numerator part we have minus 0 0.4934 then divided by minus 0 0.0512 and if we simplify minus and minus here then here we'll have the value of x if we divide these two, we have the value of x as 9.6367. So this is the value of x from this exponential equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.